second meeting between these two programs. They played in 2017. It was a 91-60 win for Iowa. And Luka Garza's got that in his arsenal too, Jess. To the free throw line today. Southern's got to move their feet. You can't put your hands on a guy in today's modern game. Joe Wieskamp knocks down the second triple for Iowa. Jordan Bohannon inside to Garza. Five points for the senior that Southern played yesterday. Of course, the opponent is a lot different today, but this is not their first time on the parquet floor of Carver Hawkeye. Connor McCaffrey up top for Iowa. Wieskamp, his second of the day. Five to shoot for Sadler. And in the corner, at the buzzer. Witzke fade away, straight up jump shots. You've seen the three-point shot, the power inside, and there's a rumor that he's got the uh, Kareem Skyhook added to the arsenal, Chris. C.J. Frederick off the mark, and Toure has the board for Southern. Nice jump stop and gliding finish for Sadler. And the point guard's filling the wing and knocking in the three-point shot. Very lethal offense. Iowa can score on anybody in the country. Nice pass hooked from Toussaint to C.J. Frederick, and he does the rest. He'll take that if you give it to him all day, every day. And Shivers at the horn knocks down another deep shot. Good, he knocks it in from deep, right over the zone. Toussaint off the mark from the elbow. Offensive rebound to Patrick McCaffrey and one. And if Wieskamp gets in foul trouble or is injured or banged up, he can come in and spell Wieskamp, unlike last year when Iowa had to go bigs. to be a lead on defense, too. Yeah, that's exactly right. You play against so many of these tremendous players and future pros, you have to be able to guard. They're going to play the way they play, but it's a big mistake in a game like this. You've got to cool him down a little, send somebody to help, or he's just going to keep dunking on you like that. And look, Chris, it, it only took him three and a half years to, to break the record. It took me six, so he's a <laughs> lot better player. Bound to Wieskamp off the miss by Henderson. Right back to him. Feed the man. Why not? Uh, and one. The attention again. And watch out for Io DeSumo right over in Illinois. He's been spectacular early in the season. Lefty stroke, Connor McCaffrey. Uh, no question. I mean, his dad, Frank and Luca, are on a mission to perfect the center position. They study so much film. They work so hard. They try to master every move that's out. Looking at Frank Kaminsky tape from that season specifically, too. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Frank Kaminsky, another guy who kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, Luca Garza was highly recruited. We see Denied at the rim. Five or six minutes together here and play some defense and keep Garza out of the paint. Alley-oop to Wieskamp. He lays it in. Burns couldn't reel it in before rumbling out of bounds. Transition look for Keegan Murray on the feed from Bohannon plus one. You got to get him the ball when he's open and let him make a play. Keegan Murray had to put one up and he knocks it down. Very complimentary of how accommodating Iowa has been in this process, especially with the COVID-19 protocol. And Iowa enjoying its highest preseason rank since 1955 when it went all the way to the national championship game and lost to San Francisco. Torre got that one to go. Sam Kilo Seeley on the drive, and Keegan Murray sends that one out of play. Luka Garza obviously extremely dominant in the first half, and Iowa has so many weapons on the perimeter, including those all American side. Very aggressive. I mean, he's going to give you everything on every possession. Very physical and a bright future in the Big Ten. Burns with the lane. Done a tremendous job. I talked to Dr. Tom Davis a couple weeks ago, and Coach Davis just raved about the job Coach McCaffrey's doing. Iowa's first win of the season over North Carolina Central on Wednesday. Tipped pass by Toussaint in the lane. Murray comes up with it, feeds Euless and the young freshman. Making everything happen behind the scenes. It's a final now, 103-73. The final score from Iowa City. The fifth-ranked Hawkeyes are 2-0.